When I was younger, I was much shyer and I really uh, was fortunate to have these teachers in my life who uh, saw something in me and brought it forward. They saw that there was a light there, but it was hidden by a lot of obstacles. And um, I think it was probably as early as um, seven or eight that I was really committed to being a comedian. I had very vivid dreams about performing stand-up comedy and um, I really couldn't hear what I was talking about, but I could see myself as an adult getting huge responses, getting a lot of laughter and applause. And there, there was um, just a real sense of this was my destiny and I know um, that I am this. So I started out um, my career at 14. I, I started doing comedy at school. I was attending a high school for performing arts and for me my main obstacle was probably shyness and I had an English teacher who would uh, pass a notebook between us and it was very silent and I would write it in, and he would critique it in the margins and it was it was always very positive critiques and and really beautiful encouragement he was somebody that I trusted very much he was a a gay man who was um, rather flamboyant for my school and and even though it was San Francisco it was still uh, you know, this was in the 80s, so it was still, um, it was tough for him, I think. And, and one day he didn't come to school, and um, it, it was really alarming to me. And I, I held the notebook, and he had written in the margins, um, you're such a good writer, just never stop writing. And never stop writing was in such big, bold red letters. Finally, I went to his, his class, and there was all these boys in the class, and they were laughing. And uh, I got closer to them, and one of them said, that faggot got killed. And um, it turns out that my teacher had been murdered by an act of homophobic violence. And it was so heartbreaking to me. Yet from that day and from then on, I always remember that he said, never stop writing. And this is uh, something that I live by and that, that uh, I will never stop because you know he brought that out in me and then he was gone and, uh, and then it, it, it reminded me of the immediacy of life and the, the necessity of living your life and living it because it can be gone in a, in a moment in a moment and and so I, I feel that that's the best advice I've ever gotten and the best mentor I've ever had and it's a very simple simple thing um, whatever you're doing just don't stop just never stop